Hello everyone. This is an introduction to Sialda Suburban Tracking System, a system which has been developed in Sialda Division in house to monitor the punctuality of the suburban trains. It was launched as a part of Mission 80, initiated by DRM Sialda to boost up the punctuality of suburban trains to 90% and beyond. So to start with, uh, we started installing some GPS trackers as early as April 19. So the trackers, they have been revised many a times. It is version 3 right now. And the software development is totally in-house based on some open source projects. It aims to enable people that uh, multiple departments and many people can monitor the movement so that we can figure out what are the bottlenecks and how to improve. So I'll show you some of the features. So for example, uh, there is an option of live view. Each of these features will be uh, explained in detail in separate videos. So I'll be just running through the various uh, features of uh, the software. You can have a look uh, on the different parameters uh, related to punctuality on the dashboard. Then there is live view where you can view the trains live the resolution of uh, the data is just three seconds so you can see the live movement of trains you can uh, see live stations mean uh, means if you choose a station it will tell you the upcoming trains then we have trains running late so this is the list of trains which is running late by more than four minutes as of now so one can simply get the data that which all trains are running late in route and then we can see what to do this is just uh, the geofences which have been marked under the cell the division these are mainly the stations and then there is a list of rakes in which the details of the rakes in which the trackers have been installed right now you can see 68 trackers are live then uh, we have punctuality analysis in which uh, for a given date it shows the punctuality percentage it is color coded in this table. You can uh, see the train number. You can search as well the scheduled departure and actual departure as well as uh, at destination the scheduled and actual arrival and the time margin by which uh, the departure or the arrival was late. You can sort on the basis of any of these column heads. So the maximum delay was in. Uh, 31412 which got delayed by some 29 minutes they have been categorized here that uh, 193 trains were right time out of total 296 80 were less than 5 minutes late and uh, so on then there is a section wise analysis crew wise analysis train wise analysis and rate wise analysis that uh, the number of trains captured in different sections and the average sectional loss and the speed achieved it is a section wise analysis uh, analysis has also been done crew wise for a given period you can get the details It's not fully implemented right now because it has not been linked to the booking database. 
but uh, anyway you can see that say here out of 10 trains captured what was the average uh, late arrival and uh, what was the maximum and the maximum delay in arrival then we have train wise analysis and we have a rate wise analysis that uh, which trains are performing well and uh, which are performing poor similarly we have an analysis of uh, rate analysis of punctuality rate wise some of the rakes are performing well and some of the rakes have poor punctuality so in that way uh, we are analyzing it from different viewpoints that what all can be the reason and uh, the features will be discussed in detail in individual videos thank you